Hello, welcome to my channel. Today, I want to share with you a famous poem from the Tang Dynasty entitled, Written on a Village South of the Capital, written by Chui Hu. Here is the poem. Last year, on this day, within these doors, a young girl's face and peach blossoms flushed red together. Now, the face is gone, where I do not know. Yet the peach blossoms still smile in the spring breeze. You may also find it beautiful to hear in Chinese. 去年今日此门中,人面桃花相映红,人面不知何处去,桃花依旧笑春风. I often wonder what kind of life this beautiful young girl might have had, so I decided to create a story about her. Here it is. Once upon a time, in a village nestled between blooming peach orchards and winding rivers, there lived a young girl named Li Hua. On a spring day, when the peach blossoms blushed the brightest red, Li Hua, then 16, was seen last by the ancient doors of her family home. No one knew where she had gone, and over the years, her image faded from the village's memory, but the peach trees continued to bloom every spring, undisturbed, as if smiling at the mystery of her disappearance. Li Hua, however, hadn't gone far in the sense most would think. As fate would have it, on that vibrant spring day, she had met a young scholar named Chen, who was passing through her village. Chen was captivated not just by Li Hua's beauty, but by her spirited laugh and sharp wit. After a series of secret meetings, woven between the tales of ancient poets and the whispers of the orchard breeze, they eloped, driven by young love and the promise of a shared future, filled with dreams and laughter. They settled in a quaint town several valleys away, where the mountains met the clouds. Chen became a respected scholar, and Li Hua threw herself into creating a world of happiness and content around them. Their home was always filled with the fragrance of fresh ink and peach blossoms, which she grew in their garden, a nostalgic nod to her roots. As years turned, their family grew with the addition of two children, both bright and curious, mirroring Li Hua's spirit and Chen's intellect. Their laughter became the music of the household, and Li Hua, ever the heart of their home, orchestrated a life filled with joy and learning. She taught her children to read and write, to appreciate the beauty of a well-crafted poem, and to understand the delicate dance of peach blossoms in the spring breeze. Li Hua also shared her joy with others, hiring two maids from her original village, ensuring their well-being and treating them as part of her family. This act of kindness created a small, tight-knit community within their walls, bound by respect and shared happiness. The peach blossoms, once witnesses to a young girl's blush, now stood testament to her fulfilled dreams. As Li Hua grew older, she often sat by her window, looking out at the blooming peach trees in her garden, her life a tapestry rich with love and laughter, stitched through with the threads of kindness and care. In the end, Li Hua lived not just a happy life, but an inspiring one, leaving behind a legacy of joy, a love for learning, and a garden perpetually in bloom, whispering tales in the spring breeze for generations to come. Hope you enjoy this story. Please subscribe and like our channel. See you in the next video.